Hello everybody, my name is Walter and uh, as you guys know um, this this post episode reaction is definitely going to be up before the blind reaction and that's because I have a lot to do and uh, I have a lot to edit and uh, you know there's something to be said about this episode in general because uh, I, I did go in wondering where it's going to go and I think it's going the general sci-fi route, yeah that's a moth, I'm sorry. Uh, it's going in the general sci-fi route that um, pretty much every series goes through and I really think that uh, but I really think that this series is pulling it off well like it seems like it has a storyline and has a goal in mind and I really think that this episode has shown me that uh, it's willing to show two sides of things because you know it's uh, it's that general hopeful optimistic guy and obviously the the dark pessimistic girl that has been in this situation all along and uh, that in itself is obviously very cliche yes but I definitely think it kind of works off well here and uh, the mystery of the things and I hope that they're continuing uh, they're continuing to do this uh, in the next few episodes as well uh, is very interesting even though you know we are we are being given some mysteries already like we are being un unwrapped with it we are still also questioning a lot of other things like how does uh the heart industries control so much yes they were there at the 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 crack or you know the the whole like crack in the earth thing but like how much do they control like where does the control end do they have a limitation are they a totalitarian government kind of thing and that's the the general ideas going in this and uh yes we've already established that they control the politics and everything else but you know what I'm saying here is more of the the fact that we, we don't really know like if there is even a higher up than the heart industries because it seems that heart industries is being controlled by somebody else too like they said there is people actually you know controlling what they do they're not just you know the the really big ones there there is definitely someone above them just like any other really big corporation that controls them as well uh so yeah i definitely think that was a really good episode um i would say this is more of a just a break from the, the whole like racing and action and all that but the thing about these things is you never really know what is the filler unless they they really do it and it's really obvious and i think maybe some of the scenes with uh, christopher and the robot were a little bit of a filler but i think definitely think that is also a juxtaposition transition meaning that you know we also see the the partner going through this and you know discovering new things as well so he's definitely uh, um He's definitely a part to play. <clears throat> I'm sorry. He's definitely a part to play in the uh, in the the series as well. He's just not too much in it. So uh, the focus is uh, with uh, um, Arthur and Grace, and that should be the way. And uh, yeah, just before I go off here, and uh, you know, I didn't really talk about it much because. Uh, it's. I think it is a, a series where I I am. I'm looking at it as a more artistic area and I definitely think the the visuals are still good. Uh, the gore value in it is still interesting enough and I think that uh, what it is is that there isn't much plot. You know, it's, it's very much storyline driven and while that is really good, sometimes it's also good to have a plot. And, I definitely think that the difference between this Blood Drive series and uh, American Gods is that American Gods has... Well, I do say that, you know, if you have a source, it's much better, but, you know, if you're making original content, I definitely think you definitely need to see your end product, and I definitely think they have a pro end product in mind, don't get me wrong, but it's just that the, the, the way to get there is, is so weird and I guess that is a play into their their storyline and their um, their choice of narration as well 
overall, I, I, I still enjoyed this episode. I really think that, uh, I really don't want Arthur and Grace to end up together, but I definitely have a strong feeling that they're gonna be ending up together. Uh, that's just me as a critic and, you know, as me watching too many series of uh, people getting into romantic re uh, relationships just based, of, based of the, off of that. And, you know, because they, they've bonked before, you know, they've fucked before, so, um, that's definitely something you have to understand that, you know, they may have already had feelings for each other. I mean, you know, more than already that has been there. Um, and I don't really think that, you know, the, the, the other character, the Christopher guy, the, the, the partner of him uh, in the police force is, is not really a token black guy, but he, he is definitely feeling more of that guy who's just like, oh yeah, bro, you were right. Uh, yeah, I, I will find some things here. And, you know, he doesn't really want to listen to, to Arthur's suggestions. And, you know, he's, he's more skeptical to, of, of the world himself. And, you know, he doesn't really want to find out what's happening and all that. Um, and uh, definitely I want to find out more about Julian's uh, character. That is one of the characters where I'm like, that, that's a really good, good rendition. I think he's going for that, you know, maniacal evil guy but he pulls it off really well and he does the sly voice so well i'm just like oh god that is perfection for me uh you know he's always like well i got you i, I showed you won't forget you know that kind of thing i can't really do the voice because i'm not that talented um so yeah guys, uh, that's about it, and uh, just before I leave off of here, I want to see, I want to show you something, because uh, the, I had tweeted out something, and um, it was about uh, the copyright that I faced uh, on the day of, you know, blood drive and everything, so this was uh, the, um, I think this is the um, actress for, oh, it's the actress for the, the, um, the, um, the robot girl this is her marma carlet and she was like uh she she kind of like liked my tweets so yeah that's that's not the not showing off it's just like i'm just showing you guys like what happened uh, i'm sorry the the visuals and everything is pretty off i don't think you can see it but yeah she did it there it is yeah uh so yeah uh probably if i face gamma right i'm just gonna tweet it out uh, so yeah, follow me on uh, Reladon at Reladon, and uh, I will hope to see you in more episodes. But I don't really know if I'm gonna continue this because, uh, for me, you know, if a series is is particularly boring, I mean, you know, and this isn't really boring, but I see that you know it's not really doing well. I, I'll most likely abandon it, and even though if it's doing well, I don't really like it. I, I will abandon it as well, and you know. I, I have to think about things in a way that, you know, really plays off well. And if I don't really have something to talk about, it's really hard. Uh, so yeah, I definitely think that this one is more of uh, a filler, most likely, because, you know, we, we deviated from the storyline, and I think that uh, uh, Julian Slink is the meat of it. And I hope that they get back. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the third episode. See you then.